Hello everyone, let's solve the first problem from weekly contest 335, that is pass the pillow. There are n people standing in a line labeled from 1 to n. The first person in the line is holding a pillow initially. Every second the person holding the pillow passes it to the next person standing in the line. Once the pillow reaches the end of the line, the direction changes and people continue passing the pillow in the opposite direction. Okay. Given the two positive integers n and time, return the index of the person holding the pillow after time seconds. Okay. We will be given n, n and time. Okay, so n is 4, that is, uh, can go at max 4, we can start from 1 to, and go to 4, and time is 5 seconds. So what has happened, we went, we were at 1, 2, 3, 4, then we came back, 3, 2, 5 seconds, right? So we are at finally at index 2, so we return 2. Then we have 3, time is 2, we start from 1, 2, from 1, 2 and 3, 2 seconds elapsed, we are at 3. So that's what, uh, what we are supposed to return. So let's just do what exactly has been said in the question. We start from 1. Okay. Let's say our i is 1. And as long as our time is greater than 0, we will keep passing our pillow. We go to 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Okay. Now since i has reached the highest index, now we will come backwards. 4, 3, 2, one. Now one has uh, I has reached the first person again. Then we will move the opposite direction again. One, two, three, four. Okay, like this. So as long as we have time, we will keep doing this. Say our time is five. Okay, what we will do? We will come here. Time becomes four. We will come here. Time becomes three. We will come here. Time becomes two. We will come here. Time becomes one. We will come here. Time becomes zero. Time is zero. This is our answer. Okay. So let's exactly do this. Here is the solution int i equals to 1 while we have time in our hand we will go from 1 to n right i plus plus and our time decreases at each pass right then when we reach the last index okay maximum index n we come backwards while i is greater than 1 and time greater than 0 i minus minus time minus minus when our time will be elapsed this uh, loop will break or if our time was elapsed here we won't enter this loop and ultimately we will break out of this loop and I will be at the index that we want to return okay the time complexity of this solution is going to be a we go of time only right we are running this loop as long as our time is not zero right so yeah this is pretty much about this solution if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video Bye bye